Hello, ladies and gentlemen. In this exercise, you can learn a very useful intermediate database query. Now, a real-world usage scenario for the query that you're about to learn is on display at the Web Intersect homepage, where we are rendering the country stats. So one single query is able to access the most common occurrences of the user countries, count them, and order them into a nice list so that other viewers can see what the most popular countries are there. And here's the standalone results from that query that you're about to learn. I just wanted to show that because sometimes a lot of people say, hey, where would I use this in the real world? So now you know. Now before I show you the actual script, I want to show you the syntax logic. Just the SQL syntax logic alone because that's what this lesson is focusing on and not so much the scripting around it. We're focusing on this SQL syntax. So let's break down the logic. So what we're doing is selecting the country column. Then we're establishing an alias using the as syntax. What you're doing is you're counting the country column and you're making an alias of that with the name of amount. That way you can render that in your result set. You just want to be able to render the count of the country column. So we just set up an alias. So in our result set, there'll be two items that we can loop over in the array. Country and then the country count. Now we're selecting from the nerds table. So this is your table name goes right there. Then we're using group by in order to group the country column. That way we don't have many selections. We only get one selection for each country, which is similar to distinct syntax. And then order by just makes it order by whatever column that you want. In this case, we're going to order by the alias amount for the country count. And then we specify descending to make it to where the highest, most popular, most common occurrence country is on top. And then we limit the result set to 12. So there's only going to be 12 items in the result set, which gives you this result. Yeah, I'll change this from nerds to table name. That way it makes more sense. Okay, now I'll get rid of that. And then let's open up this script so you can take a look at it real quick. So this is the actual script that's rendering this list. This script accomplishes that. What we're doing is simply connecting to the MySQL database using MySQLi. Then we're just making sure that we have a good connection. And if we don't, we're going to render out the MySQL connection error message. Then we initialize two variables. One is the list. We just make that empty at first. And then the number variable, which is zero by default. Then here's our SQL syntax, which we just explained to you fully. Then we run MySQLi query on that SQL syntax. And we can also optionally put or die with MySQLi error function which will tell you if you have the name of anything in your syntax wrong or if anything at all is wrong in your SQL syntax here. It's going to let you know here when the die function runs, if it catches some error. Then we just while loop over that result set, the array that is the result set. And here is where we build the list. Then we close database connection and we echo the list to the page. And it's that simple. Now, if you happen to have any questions or concerns, you can use the comment section below the video because I read the comments. And if there's an advanced query that you want to see demonstrated, just let us know.